We've all witnessed major multinational companies get sued in the past. Legal complications or cases are prevalent in the corporate world. The outcome of these legal proceedings decides the future of the company. Ripple XRP was also faced with a similar dilemma, and how they overcame this obstacle is truly inspiring. Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how to double the money. If you want to stay up to date with all the crypto news, you need to like and subscribe. Don't miss anything. Make sure to enable all your notifications to our channel to keep up with all the hottest secrets in the world of XRP. Let's do it! Be aware that the prices of cryptocurrencies frequently change, so by the time you watch this video, it might have changed to a whole new value. XRP has been in the headlines for a while now, ever since it's proved that it could transfer or settle payments faster than Bitcoin. XRP is capable of settling a payment within 4 seconds and handling 1500 transactions every second. Speed. Most companies use it to settle cross-border transactions, while its essential purpose is to mediate both cryptocurrencies and fiat exchanges. All this hype might be the reason it caught the SEC's attention and has been in a battle with them ever since. The Securities and Exchange Commission has filed a complaint against Ripple over its XRP cryptocurrency, alleging that the company made an unregistered $1.3 billion securities offering. The action alleges that because Ripple is a defense rather than a currency, it should be regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission. According to the lawsuit, Ripple was also aware that because XRP lacked the endorsement of a central authority, it was unlikely to qualify as a currency under the Exchange Act. In response to the SEC case, Ripple claimed that the US regulator was wrong and that Ripple's XRP coin is not a protection. XRP is a virtual coin that is used as a medium of exchange for foreign and domestic transactions, according to the company. XRP, according to Ripple, is an asset that is ideal for payment processing because it is fast and scalable. Ripple, in fact, built a pretty compelling defense. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse is confident that they will win the lawsuit and come back stronger as their legal team is phenomenal. Ripple's defense thrust is that the SEC was required to alert Ripple that it was breaking the law before the SEC filed suit but did not do so. This defense, which focuses on what the SEC didn't do before filing this compliance action, is legally deficient and should be dismissed. Dismissed. This can be seen as the government's failed attempt to regulate cryptocurrency. The government does not regulate the supply of cryptocurrency tokens, as most of you are aware. Considering Ripple is identical to Bitcoin and most other cryptocurrencies, if the SEC wins the lawsuit, the government will establish regulatory jurisdiction over all major cryptocurrencies, forcing prices to go up and companies to charge additional transaction fees than the normal financial institutions. If Ripple prevails in the lawsuit, exchange listing concerns will be dismissed and additional XRP liquidity transfers will begin in the United States. Attorney James K. Fallon stated, Well, given that fact discovery finishes in three weeks and the SEC has five days to react, I would expect Ripple to write a response within the next day or two. Ripple's primary lawyer, Matthew Solomon, wrote to Judge Sarah Netburn concerning a discovery dispute between the two sides over documents withheld by the SEC. The SEC has refused to hand up the necessary records despite the judge's demand, claiming deliberative process privilege. In eight-page letters addressing the problem, the parties wish to present their positions. Commenting on the letter that, after months of uncertain period, could help bring the discovery forward, attorney Jeremy Hogan said, It's about that time. Eight pages is a long brief in this case, thus it appears that some complicated privilege problems have developed. I'm curious to find out what they are. This must be approved, then filed, then replied to, then a hearing date set, all before the 31st of August month. Following an SEC request, fact discovery was prolonged by 60 days, affecting the lawsuit's overall timeline. Ripple objected at the time, claiming that the SEC had ample time to investigate the problem before filing litigation and that it wanted to proceed for summary judgment as quickly as possible. Ripple filed a motion in early June asking the Securities and Exchange Commission to hand over internal records relating to the cryptocurrencies Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple's XRP. 
This came after lengthy talks between the two parties and Judge Netburn. The plaintiff has previously been told twice to turn over the records, yet not a single document has been delivered. Should the plaintiff refuse to cooperate with the necessary discovery, the judge has the authority to impose a monetary penalty or even dismiss the case. At this point, though, a dismissal is quite unlikely. Unlikely. The agency, for its part, has just filed a motion to compel Ripple to deliver terabytes of Slack messages. This information is important to the SEC's primary argument in this complaint that XRP offers and sells constitute securities, offers, and transactions. Judge Sarah Netburn has aggressively pushed the defendants to jointly file a single 15-page document dubbed a monster brief in addition to the eight-page letters. As part of that joint letter, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, who is also a defendant in the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit, has requested to file under seal a number of exhibits, including the deposition of ex-SEC Director William Hinman, whose transcript can't be accessed at the moment. The 15-page brief will be open to the public, but Mr. Hinman's testimony transcript will have censored parts. Exhibit 1 is an excerpt of the transcript of the confidential deposition of William Hinman, the former director of the Division of Corporate Finance at the SEC, a transcript the SEC has designated as confidential pursuant to the stipulation and protective order, said the Garlinghouse's letter to the judge. The plaintiff is soon to explain why these parts should remain confidential. Pursuant to paragraph 15 of the protective order, the SEC, as the party that designated these materials as confidential in the first instance, and the opposing party in this litigation, should file within three days a letter explaining the need to seal or redact the materials, if any. In the meantime, defendants Ripple Labs, Brad Garlinghouse, and Chris Larson have requested a conference to address the SEC's improper assertions of privilege principally Deliberative Process Privilege DPP, over relevant documents that it has been twice ordered to produce and that are vital to the defense in this case. This is another attempt from Ripple and the individual defendants to force the SEC to hand over the documents regarding their views on Bitcoin, Ether, and XRP. The agency insists on withholding all internal documents based on blanket assertions of DPP, attorney-client privilege, and work product. Outside the court, Ripple CEO Garlinghouse took the opportunity to compare the SEC's views on regulatory clarity to an alcoholic in denial. In his opinion, stating, We have assurance, we have clarity, when dealing with an alcoholic who refuses to recognize they have an alcohol issue, is similar to the alcoholic declaring, I don't have a problem. The elephant in the room is this. Wow! Elephant in the room! <laughs> this means once XRP wins the lawsuit, it will come back even stronger, and the prices will skyrocket through the roof. Ripple has been through many problems, but their consistency to not give up and fight through the storm has won people's hearts. People worldwide are showing their support by not selling their XRP coins because they believe Ripple will survive this too. Winning or losing the lawsuit would have little impact on the XRP's negative dynamics. Other than Ripple, the coin has no users, and they have all they need to run their site, so there is no demand created there. There have been rumors about Ripple going public. Ripple's biggest investor and CEO of SBI, Yoshitaka Kitao, said that the cryptocurrency company would go public following the conclusion of its lawsuit with the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC). Ripple is a good investment opportunity and will be worth it despite its SEC issues. XRP is currently trading at 97 cents. According to experts' predictions, they believe that 2021 is the best year to invest in XRP because the prices are extremely low, and by the end of 2021, it can reach an astounding $20. That is a significant rise and could prove to be profitable to a lot of investors. It is no secret that Ripple intends to go public once the lawsuit with the SEC is over. Still, CEO Brad Garlinghouse renewed his plans in an interview at the Consensus 2021 event, stating that he thinks that the likelihood that Ripple may be a public company is extremely high at some point. Hence, those of you looking to make sustainable profits over a short period of time, Ripple is where you put your money. Profit. Report, data, statistics, and experts all have been pointing toward one common thing. 
with the Ripple prices skyrocketing soon and making itself to the top cryptocurrencies globally. The Ripple system is better than the Bitcoin network for its lower loading times and lower transaction costs. Though Bitcoin remains a truly public system, not one individual, authority or government owns it. Although decentralized, the Ripple network is owned and operated by a private company of the same name. However, the two common virtual systems cater to many segments of users, despite the specific cryptocurrency tokens. XRP can easily attract many investors by the end of 2021, being the fastest and cheapest cryptocurrency. The price could thus reach $1.44.3 on a bullish market by the end of August 2021. The pre-mined XRP supply, on the contrary, can reduce the price. When the bearish trend outperforms the bull, the price could drop over the short term, decrease estimated to be nearly 86.1 cents, and recover over a short period. However, if the market dominance continues at 2.14%, trade at $1.705 can be observed at the end of the year. Hence, it would be foolish not to invest in a sure thing. Although every investment is subjected to certain risks, most people invest in ensuring minimum risk and maximum returns. Keeping this in mind, experts have done a thorough market study about Ripple and its XRP tokens. They are confident that the XRP prices will never plunge down and meet minimum risk and maximum returns criteria. Although experts are a little concerned in terms of long-term investments, XRP is subjected to a high amount of risks due to its volatile nature. Risk. But those looking for an easy short-term investment don't think twice. Just grab your savings and put it into XRP. With that, we have come to the end of this video. And on a final note, the content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered financial advice. Do conduct your own due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.